Is this what you want? With Gabby and Allison from Just Between Us. I'm hoping at some point the name of what we do is so long no one even bothers to watch it. Because now it's called Is This What You, you want, want with Gabby, Gabby and Allison and from, from Just, Just Between, Between Us. us. Yeah. I T W Y I'm not keeping F track. J B U. Ooh, F J B U. A lot of people are probably thinking that right now. <laughs> This week we're going to be doing an interview. I guess there are some channels where people get interviewed. Mm-hmm. Name one. Between Two Ferns. CNN. I know what you're thinking. Who are Gammy and Allison going to interview for their interview attempt? A big name celeb. Guys, a famous educator. It's just gonna be me. Welcome to Gabby's interview show. Today we're going to be talking to the wildly successful vlogger, Allison Raskin. Raskin or Ruskin? It's Raskin. I'm actually, I'm not a vlogger. It's interesting because you make videos on YouTube, so. Right, but there are, um, there's a lot of different type of content on, on YouTube. Right, but you talk to camera in your Monday videos, so wouldn't you classify that as a vlog? That's a very good point. I would actually say that what we've historically done on our Monday show is do a sketch format. So, like, it's a fake advice show, and then we're able to, um, kind of have our odd couple banter. So it's not real, so all of it is insincere and you're mocking your audience? No, 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 okay, well, when you have a creative partner, sometimes there's going to be like a push and pull, and so my partner, you, um, prefers real advice, and so there's often, you know, it's, I'd say that the show is unclear and had no real direction, and that's honestly why we stopped doing it. Is I mean, it fun having OCD? No! <laughs> It's not. It's not fun having OCD. I feel like I have OCD too because I like to count to fall asleep. I think that sometimes people confuse just like little neuroses with an actual mental illness. I don't know. Sometimes I have to like go and check if my straightener is actually turned off and I'm just like, oh, my OCD is crazy. Well, why? I think, you know, maybe you could go talk to a professional and see what, if you need help. No, I'm just like OCD. I'm not like OCD. Great. Do you think your bangs are a crutch? Yes. Are you actually single? And if not, why are you pretending to be single, thus culturally appropriating singlehood? Oh my god. Am I currently single? No, I'm not currently single. But punch in. Here at Alan is where we would punch in and then punch back out, just like to get her eyes, you know what I mean? I haven't explicitly said in the couch show recently that I'm single. Why so I'm not you... lying. <clears throat> like if you when you ask me directly, I'm answering. Why are you alone if you're so pretty? I'm not alone. Oh my god. I'm a random man on the internet and you're not. I would marry you. And so I'm just curious why you feel like you're being too picky. What I'm doing is acting out a scenario wherein one of our many commenters who is a random man you don't know on the internet who is like, this girl wants to be married. I would marry her. So why wouldn't she marry me? Too picky. Bit of a bitch. Bit of a gold digging bitch. You would marry one of the random commenters on the internet? There's this no. This isn't you, my interview. You, I'm just saying. I should don't just come, because I'm single. I should just marry any guy. So do you have to turn the lights on and off when you leave places? Or no. What? How can you have a dog if you have OCD? Well, I'm actually really glad that you asked that question. That question has some actual merit. I got my dog in large part to help with exposure therapy and having her and being exposed to her germs and being exposed to the dirt that she brings into my home has actually been really wonderful for my OCD and it's made it a lot better. Seems suspicious, but okay. What about that is suspicious? Seems fake. Seems like you're faking your OCD. Who writes the channel? I do. Really? Your director? Like a guy doesn't write it? Like you, a lady, writes this channel? Yeah, I've written, I'd say, 80% of the channel. And Gabby's written about 20% of the channel. But a you're a lady. I just want to, you're a lady and you wrote this I've channel. I've written 95% of the channel. You're a woman and you I've wrote this. I've written 100% of the Have channel. Have you ever thought about maybe writing a television show or getting on SNL or writing a movie? I've... Yes. Did you really get a nose job or is that a joke? <laughs> I don't think you're even gay. I'm bi. Don't erase bisexuality. Woo! 